Are you paying attention? Big changes in the world of gold and silver. Big changes in the way that the world recognizes and utilizes silver and gold. This will mean much higher prices for gold and silver in the future. One of those changes just occurred last week. We had news from Zimbabwe, further news and how they are going to utilize gold to stabilize their currency, to stabilize their economy. These are fascinating developments. And guys, big changes that are happening right now, they happen as a result of a series of events. And this event in Zimbabwe is one of those events. Zimbabwe is issuing a gold-backed digital currency. Let's talk about Zimbabwe for a moment. They've suffered through decades of hyperinflation in their country. Last summer, they announced they were going to mint gold coins in an effort to help stabilize their currency and stabilize their economy. And you know what? It worked. They issued $20 billion worth of gold coins, and it had an effect. It had an impact on the economic troubles they were having. But then you know what happened? In December, the International Monetary Fund showed up to do a little review of what was going on in Zimbabwe. And you'll never believe this. The IMF then came out with a report chastising Zimbabwe, telling them to stop it, to knock it off with these gold coins, that, that Zimbabwe needs to use more modern Western approaches to controlling inflation, interest-bearing instruments, fiat-oriented uh, methods to control the inflation. You know what Zimbabwe told them? They said, thanks, goodbye. We're going to stick with gold. And that's just what they did. And now, in a further development, they announced they're going to go a step further with a gold-backed digital currency. I release new videos every day, perceptive insights into the world of gold and silver. You know you, yes you, are always welcome to join me back here in the basement. You're important. You're the most important part of Ron's Basement. Please subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up. Back to Zimbabwe and this gold-backed digital currency. We get a report from their local media outlet, the Sunday Mail, that says the new digital currency will be backed by gold 100% and will serve as legal tender in the country. This move will enable more Zimbabweans to hedge against currency volatility by exchanging small amounts of Zimbabwean dollars for the digital dollar token. They're using gold. This will be gold backed, guys. No reason to be afraid. Nobody's going to take your physical gold or silver if you're a stacker, but this offers utility for gold. And think about it. Take a step back. I'm going to beat this, beat the drum on this. It also serves as a new source of demand for gold and silver, and that can only be good news long term for the gold price and silver price. And we're seeing this occur all around the world. This move back to gold and silver as a store of value. Central banks throughout the world bought a record amount of gold more than any other time in history just last year, and they continue to purchase. But even here in the United States, we have individual states that are passing laws to let their citizens reclaim their right to use gold and silver as legal tender. And just like Zimbabwe, we have states like Texas, right? One of the most innovative and admired states here in the United States of America. Texas is also developing their own gold-backed digital currency. The introduction of a gold-backed digital currency in Zimbabwe is a government initiative that aims to stabilize the local currency from continued depreciation against the U.S. dollar. According to John Manguja, he's a central bank governor in Zimbabwe, the plan intends to, quote-unquote, leave no one and no place behind. First Mining Gold is a development company advancing two of the largest gold projects in Canada. 
Spring Pole in Ontario, and Du Parquet, located in Quebec, each already has 5 million ounces of gold reserves, but exploration initiatives are underway at both projects to find even more gold. First Mining is well-financed, has zero debt, and owns an interest in four additional Canadian gold development projects. And it's not just Zimbabwe. We know that Russia is developing gold-backed digital currencies to conduct trade with countries like Iran and China. The big key here, Guy, is that these are governments that are developing these gold-backed digital currencies. Doesn't that sound like the gold standard to you? And think about it. These are going to be regulated by the government. So each token will represent an amount of real gold held in a vault. What do you think they're going to need to do to fill up those vaults? Well, they're going to need to buy a lot of gold, and that will be good news for the gold price and silver price. As the existing systems of the world are having, let's just call it some troubles, the world is moving back to gold and silver because they've always been valuable. You know that story, right? 5,000 years gold and silver have been valuable and universally everywhere in the world. An ounce of gold or an ounce of silver holds value. Zimbabwe is making a bold move, protecting their citizens from economic and currency fluctuations. Other countries are likely to follow suit. We have such interesting times right now in the world and in the world of precious metals. It appears demand for silver and gold will only increase as more and more countries, more and more states, and more and more people like you and me decide to protect our wealth with precious metals. This is a big change happening in our world right now, right before our very eyes. And it may not seem like it happens on a day-by-day -day basis, but when we add up all the little events that are occurring, it is happening. And it's important that we take a look back at history and realize this isn't the first time this type of change occurred where monetary systems failed and people went back to gold and silver. It has happened hundreds, if not thousands of times throughout history. Hey, I'll be here with you on this journey through it all. Watch another video. Until next time, you be well. Hey everybody, it's Ron from Ron's Basement, live on the log flume with Lily. Lily, say hi. hi.